Hello, what's going on guys? Back again with me, a hit with another tutorial video and today I'm going to show you how to reverse engineering for beginners only for those of you that wants to learn how to crack things and in my desktop here we got Easy Crack Me and X64DBG Easy Crack Me is the programs that we are going to crack and X64DBG is the program that we are going to use to crack this and all the download links is in the description so you can just visit the link and download it so you open x64dbg and then go to release and then you see there is x32 and x64 we know that this program is x32 bit so we are going to use x32 and then go down and then double click the application and you get into this window you can just drag the program inside and then we can just run it and then what happened if we run it so we don't know the password yet so we are just going to guess random so we got incorrect password and our goal is to remove this and then congratulations you got the right password and then just say OK. Just leave it. And then we know that this is a message box and this is a string function. So you can just search for a string reference. And then you get this. You get incorrect password and congratulations. And we want this. We don't want this. You can just double click it. And we can see all the condition push, red, add, and stuff. So what's causing this? We can see over here uh, the line is going going up and we see J and E easy crack me. And then we know that it, the ECX is not zero. So we have to change it to from J and E to J E C X Z which is means that if ECX is zero, we're not going to jump. So click OK. And then we're going to toggle the breakpoint. And then another one is this one. ECX is not zero, so we're going to change it to, to jump ECX. ECXZ, okay. The next one is uh, we can see this one and this one. So we're just going to toggle breakpoints and change it. Okay. GECXZ. Okay, say okay. And then this one. So after you've done all this stuff, we are going to patch it. So just right click and go to patches, patch file, and then rename it. I'm just going to rename it to cracked.exe. You have to have exe in front of it. And just, just click save and then it's applied. We can just close it, close all of them, stop it and then close. And then we can see we got the new program here called Cracked, which is the one that we saved. And if we run it and then type random password, and then we get congratulations, congratulations, you have cracked this program. And yeah, yeah, guys, if you like the tutorial, just click the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorial. And then peace.